Hello, and welcome to Recovering from the Storm. I'm Callie Nelson with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today's topic is surviving stress after the storm. Unfortunately, many of us will always remember January 12th, the day the tornado came through Selma. Traumatic events like this cause stress, and the stress may not go away without help. In fact, 20 to 30 percent of people who experience a traumatic event may experience post-traumatic stress. It's natural to express disbelief, sadness, anxiety, anger, and depression. Stress makes you feel like you can't conduct your daily activities like getting out of bed, going to work, or just being around those you love. You can't sleep. Your appetite changes. You can't concentrate. And you may feel nervous, scared, or annoyed. Sometimes you feel like all you want to do is cry. Here are a few ideas to help you move on. First, remember to value your family. They are the most important part of your life. Treat them with respect. Don't punish them because of the storm. It's not their fault, and frankly, they need you to be strong for them. Children who experience the storm may be even more afraid than you are and feel that their lives are out of control. Their symptoms may include anger, fear of being alone, having nightmares, wetting the bed, or just wanting to be held. To help your children cope, talk with them and really listen to what they say. They need to be reassured that they are safe. Hold your child. Most of all, help them to mourn if they experience loss. That includes anything from loss of a favorite toy or blanket to a perceived loss of their way of life. Mourning is a step in learning and healing, leading to recovery. What you do now will help them survive this event and become stronger adults. But what about your stress? It can affect your thoughts and emotions, your behavior, your relationships, and your work. It certainly can affect your health. First, start by acknowledging that your stress is real. Often we deny the pain and push on, hoping that it will get better. Your family and friends may see that you are hurting even before you realize it. Talking with your friends, family, and spiritual leader is a good place to start. Stay connected to your social network and be open to learning new ways to cope. Sometimes helping others will help you even more. Be intentional. Develop an attitude of hope. Focus on the big picture instead of little details and problems. Find blessings each day and let yourself experience gratitude. Look for meanings in your life. Understand that you have strength. Be patient. Remember, physical and mental recovery takes time. Start by setting goals. Be active. Eat healthy and maintain good sleep habits. If these things don't help, you may need to talk to a professional. You can call for help by simply dialing 211. Again, this is Callie Nelson, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to Recovering from the Storm. The Dallas County Extension Office has more information on this topic. Please contact our office at 334 334- 875-3200 or visit us on the web at www.aces.edu. And don't forget, we care about you and we want to help you recover.